So let's go over the most basic of our errors here, which are syntax errors. They are very, very, very easy to spot. And they occur when you basically completely mess up writing Python. Like this, three plus bump. Syntax error, invalid syntax. That's super helpful, but at least it highlights where it is. And we can see why this one has an invalid syntax. Other times they are a bit more, shall we say, obtuse such as when we do something like this. Print. Oh, let's go ahead and open this up in a um, application rather. Uh, print min plus, um, let's go with min of three and five. The numbers really don't matter. And instead of not, we'll do the max of five and seven. Save it. Classroom. Syntax error example. And let's go ahead and run this code. Unexpected end of file while parsing. Now what happened here is that we don't have enough parentheses to finish the, to, for the statement, right? We have three opening parentheses, so we should have three closing parentheses as well. Now, here's the thing about syntax errors. A lot of times your program, your IDE or whatever, or editor or whatever you decide to use is going to try to help you. For instance, uh, some, some programming, uh, some programming languages put in, um, or some editors put it, automatically put in the close brace whenever you put in an open one. Uh, idle flashes for you, right? So every time I add one, it, it highlights what just closed for, uh, for what just got enclosed in the parentheses, which is super useful. Let's go ahead and check uh, the textbook. It's very, I mean, syntax errors are fairly straightforward. Um, there are a lot of times um, the only other syntax error that we'll see here that we don't is one that we aren't really going to see until much later, so um, which has to do with indentation. For i in range 50. So here, um, print i. So this is just going to print all the numbers from zero to um, from zero to forty-nine. So now let's go ahead and print out print done over here. That's another type of error right over here, which we'll get into right over here. Name error, we'll get into that. Right, very simple error to make. So here is the work. It'll print. The number and then I'll print done. Again, don't worry about the specifics of for loop. That's a much later chapter. But I'm using it to show you, first off, it's trying to prevent me from doing making this error. That basically I've got the indent letter. Notice it's saying syntax error. Unindent doesn't ma um, match any outer indentation level. So here it's saying your indentation is wrong. It's not lined up. It should be lined up. It's Python's kind of a neat freak when it comes to things being all lined up and properly indented. So the, that's so possibly going to be one of the more int, um, more common syntax errors. Syntax errors are f ex the first two types of syntax errors with parentheses and with um, with uh, basically missing operands are fairly easy to find. Indentation can be a bit trickier because you can't see white space, so to sp so to speak. And this is part of the reason why it's especially important to use a monospace font. But syntax errors are, errors are fairly straightforward, and you, they, they are going to stop your program from running in the first place.